Hey guys, Cloud Wolf here, and I'm back today with another concept video, and this is for guided missiles in Minecraft 1.9. So I, if you look up guided missiles, there's a lot of videos about guided missiles, but I'm pretty sure that the guy that came up with the idea for guided missiles is Gamer Guppy. So uh, I I basically took his idea and I made it in one, work for 1.9 and whatnot, changed up some of the commands, and uh, and it is going to be a one command creation. You can get it in the description if you just want it. Uh, but I'll probably be using this for some future content uh, that I will be making in the future and releasing later, which are kind of bigger one command creations. This is a part of it. I'm not going to show you what exactly it is. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, so first off, we have the missile. So with a regular bow, it's just going to do that. Nothing, right? But if you have a bow with power 7, or whatever power you want, I just chose to keep it power 7, because power 7 is a pretty good number to go with, because nobody can get power 7 in the game. But if you want to make it power 100, you can make it power 100 if you want. So if you shoot it, it'll do like so. And as you can see, that is definitely a guided missile. So I'm going to turn my music down a little bit. That was pretty loud. Okay, so as you can see, it just... It follows your head movement, and if you don't shoot it too vertically, follows your head movement exactly where I'm moving my head, but it's kind of slow. So it's actually a really realistic guided missile, and uh, you can easily follow the movement, and it's pretty realistic because most guided missiles in real life aren't going to follow exactly where you turn it instantly. So it does take a while if you try to turn it quickly like that. It won't, it'll take a while to turn. And this works off of the logic that when a player hits a gas fireball, the fireball goes in the direction the player is looking. And this is basically just killing the fireball and resummoning a fireball at the uh, place. So your player is looking at a fireball. It's really complicated. His video has a better description of it. But your player, you look here, you're shooting the arrow. The arrow is affecting the fireball. And uh, the fireball becomes your fireball in the game. The game recognizes it as your fireball, so it follows your head movement. But you're renewing each fireball so that it can change directions. And uh, it makes for this really cool effect. And I saw this a while back, like a really long time ago, back in 1.8. And I thought it was just really cool. So I thought, why not bring it into 1.9, use it for a couple things. It's really useful. You can do a lot of things with this, and I think it's really cool because it works in multiplayer. You can have two players doing these at the same time because it uses it. It kind of messes with the game's code, and uh, it works for multiplayer because it's not really command based. So, as it they two people can shoot these and cross each other or hit each other, and it'll work perfectly. So. If you guys think of any mini games that you would like to see featuring this, you can put this in, put a uh, the idea in the description, or you can make one yourself. I don't really mind. If you feel like this inspired you to make a really cool mini game, I would love for you to include it. Anyways, guys, that was this is a pretty short video. Uh, the paste bin will be in the description. Just paste it into a command block as usual. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and liking and all the support. I know I've gotten so many subscribers lately, and I just really love it. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.